All right, hey everyone, I'm here with Ryan from Sineso. We're taking a look at the new Sineso ES1. This is what a lot of you guys have asked me to take a look at. Your, what's your title? Oh, yeah, I'm a director of sales and strategy at Sineso. Yeah. So I'd love to show you guys the machine, uh, which is right here. This is the ES1. Uh, so this is our first, you know, foray into like home coffee. Uh, but home coffee, also a small, like a smaller machine that's super portable for roasters that want to do farmers markets or pop ups and that sort of thing as well. Uh, so you know, we're not compromising in any kind of way on like the commercial level quality of what we're doing at Sineso. Uh, with this machine, we're wanting to really ride that line between digital interface and the ability to actually make coffee with your hands. To you know. Making espresso is a super tactile experience. You know, it's all about tamping pressure, touching the coffee. So we wanted to make sure that nothing was changed about that and how you interact with the machine. So on the high level on the outside, you know, we've got the, the usual Sineso, uh cool touch steam wand with our usual steam valve. So this is just like what we're doing in our commercial machines. Uh, we have a paddle group for activation for, uh, and, and controlling of the brewing. Uh, hot water tea spout. When I say tea spout, I actually mean tea spout. Uh, the same system that we're using for heating the water that goes to the brew group is also going to be using, used for the water that's coming out of the tea spout. So we can program this to volume uh, as well as the temperature anywhere from 165 to 205. So you know, tea drinkers are not left behind on our home machine. Uh, so most users, they're going to start with manual mode on this. So when I hit the manual mode button, it's going to take us to a super intuitive screen that's just meant to make it really easy to understand how to use this thing. Uh, if I go to the, the right, it's going to put it into purge mode. If I go to the left, then the first thing it's going to do is go into pre-infuse. So this is our new interface. Pre-infuse currently is set digitally at three and a half bars. Uh, once I've gotten enough pre-infusion and I'm ready to go to the next phase, I can bump over one more time to the left, it's going to take me to infusion. This is going to take us to full pump pressure, which is going to be nine bars. Once we've infused long enough, I can bump one more time and it's going to go into ramp down mode. Ramp down mode is also digitally set and set currently to seven bars. Okay. When I'm done, I bump the paddle one more time and it's going to give me a summary. So through here I can see temperature. Uh, in the middle, we don't have any resistance right now, but the middle is going to show us the uh, flow through the flow meters and the time of extraction. If I want to get really into it, I can hit the graph button and it'll show me a report. This is you know, pressure over time of the extraction. And then from there, if I want to save this, I can hit save and I can either overwrite an existing preset or I can create a new one. Oh, and then you can, you can repeat the recipe. Yep. So okay. if I go back to that home screen, we can go to presets, and it'll show me my recipes. Awesome. If okay. for workflow reasons or anything like that, I wanted to like reprioritize my presets, I can just hit this little button down here, and then I can literally just drag and drop to reorder. There's no limit to presets. It's kind of, it's more like contacts in your cell phone. It's all about how much space you have. So, you know, get to like 25, and if I want, I can reorder them from like newest to alphabetical. In the machine too, we've got uh, settings, the shot history is accessible here at any given moment. Uh, so this is a key thing that's cool. Like This is MVP technology just like we have on our commercial machines. But on the MVP, if you manually make a shot, you have to save it right away. Otherwise, if you touch anything, you're going to lose that setting. I can go here into my history and go to any of these extractions at any time. I can pull it up again and oh, save it and you from can, the history. And then you can just preset it and yep. keep running it. Totally. So let's say I, like, I brew five in a row, but the first one was still the best one. I can go back to that first one and I can pull it back out. Uh, super intuitive uh, instructions on the machine for auto back flush. Because again, this is a promotion. We want to make it easy for users. And then one of the things that I also like, this is super simple, uh, but you know, water fill for the reservoir is actually right here. Oh, that's so nice. So there's no having it up there. No need to remove your cups to get yeah. anything here or pull out the tray. So, you know, if you are a roaster and you're doing an event, you don't have to stop everything, pull it all out. Yeah. Like, you can just throw water in the top. Yeah, and this is a dual boiler ever. Like, it's kind of a revamped, I'm calling it like advanced dual boiler. Okay. So we've got, we've got gauges here. So 
Our coffee boiler is actually only uh, about a half a liter and it's, it's 155 degrees. Our steam boiler is pretty sizable and it's running at 100, 266. Mm. And we've invented a new or, or redesigned a new heat exchange coil. So we're getting superheated water out of the steam boiler mixing with that cooler water. And then we're using uh, some, some uh, mix valves with like an algorithm basically to drive the temperature to the group. And then the group is an actively heated group as well. Mm. So we're getting the same level of like temperature stability that we get out of the commercial machines. Yeah. But we're doing it on 15 amps of power in the US. Yeah, and it's much smaller. Hey, cool. right? yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's a lot you can do here. You know, we wanted to give people the ability to play with coffee and, and manipulate their espresso, but at the same time, like, repeat those results. So it's it's an experimental machine. It's something you can really dive in on, but it's something where you can do the same thing twice as well. Yeah. So you get you get the consistency and you get to actually play around. So this how this works is we just go, or I guess we can. Uh, so hit left there. Those are free infusion time. Then we hit left again. Go to infusion. And then hit left again, and then you see our. Uh, ramp down so the pressure goes all the way up and then we hit left again to finish and then that was our line just water shot yep. now we're gonna pull an actual shot yeah, uh, but it. this is really cool stuff also also this is a beautiful looking machine <laughs> and so. it comes in blue yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're gonna pull a shot now manual mode so I'm gonna bump it all right so we're ramping up and watching down below for coffee we got the drips, I'm gonna go to infuse. Infuse. So we're gonna ramp up to nine bars. And we'll let them run a little bit longer. And about here, I'm gonna to start to go down to the ramp down, so we're gonna to drop to seven. our shot right there and we can go in and or you want to go and yeah we can look at the graph so that was so this is kind of our, our extraction over time so the pressure as, it, as we were kind of evolving it so oh, we can kind we can, of see too and we can all see our milliliters per second at each phase yep and one thing we've kind of noticed too is with your with your pre-infuse if you do it too soon you can actually kind of get a sense of how that how that occurs in yeah. the graph a little bit uh, and so it's kind of like there's some some feedback there as well. Yeah, You're like this is really cool. Yeah. What's gonna be really fun is we've built this really awesome platform inside the machine, but what's driving it is the software and the algorithms. Yeah. So we've got plans for other features that we want to add to the machine over time. By launch, we plan to have a automatic pre-infusion feature. So in that graph, basically the pressure sensor is gonna be able to read when we've fully saturated the coffee bed. And uh, it'll automatically, if you want, take you into the infusion cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, cool. And then you can ramp down. Yeah. I mean, and then you can obviously build the profiles, do everything, and re execute them again. Yeah, so exactly. that's really cool. Yeah, so with, with, the, with the pressures, uh, pre-infusion and the ramp down pressure, that can be set digitally within the software. The max pressure is set, because we are using a traditional rotary vane pump and motor, that's set internally on that. And so uh, I'm not going to do it now, but if you, it's two screws on top, can pull off this side panel. Yeah, you can change. And then you just get in there to set that. So that's that's kind of more of like a coffee philosophy. If you're someone that totally is into the whole like six bar max yeah. thing, which to be honest, my home machine is set as six bar max, uh, <laughs> then you know you can do that as well. Yeah. But uh, it, it really is incredibly, like, this is incredibly intuitive to use. You just, you just hit left. Yeah. It's like, that's, that's easy. It's fun. That's and really easy. Our friends over here, this is Spirit Tea, they're actually making matcha drinks. So we've got the, the tea oh, tap over here. The tea. It's yeah. actually programmed for 40 mils out uh, at 170 degrees, uh, and they're using that to whisk matcha. Yeah, wow. But I, I mean, just... We've seen like teaser photos of it and finally seeing it in person yeah. and it is beautiful. Thank you. I just thought, it's like also, okay, also comes in that silver white. Yeah, so we've got four colors for launch. So this is our, our black. This is the same black that we're, we do our S200 yeah. in. We have the same white over there. We call it Semeso White. This is a new flagship color for us. It's kind of a bit of a gray blue. So we wanted something that would really shine in like contemporary kitchens. Yeah. And then around the corner, we've got a Seneso red as well. So blue, red, white, black. 
right, when does this come out? Yeah, so we're still figuring out the pricing and all that stuff to, to, to be announced later. But uh, right now what we're shooting for is what we're calling early summer. Uh, but we're hoping by the end of June that we'll, we'll go live. And in the US, we are going to have a website where you can actually buy this from us uh, directly. And, and with that, we hope to also have some really beautiful home products. We're going to be selling the Malkunig X54 grinder, uh, as well as we will have listed the uh, EK43S. Because if you're going to buy a machine like this, you got to have the best. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that's the Sineso ES1. I want to thank Ryan for showing all of that off. Absolutely. And uh, stay tuned. This is really cool. It's coming out soon this uh, summer, early summer, hopefully. Awesome. Really cool stuff. Thanks, y'all. Thanks again. Yeah. All right, see ya.